Today we'll look at a website makeover of a site that was originally built on Wix and then moved over to WordPress and Thrive Architect. And we'll take a look at the most important conversion focused changes we made to this site. Hello, I'm Shane Malach from Thrive Themes and the website we're looking at today is thegreenfairy.ch. This is a Swiss company that makes ice cream. And let's have a look at what the website looked like before we got started. So this is what the website looked like. We're looking at the, the Wix preview mode here. And as you can see, this is what we see right away. And one of the things we'll see is, okay, we have a showcase of the different ice cream flavors here. And content wise, quite a lot of the things on this page are quite good. So we have some sections with text here that explains like the philosophy of this business. We have a story section, we have good images and so on. Overall, this is an, it looks like a one page website, but it's actually more than one page, but it's a mini website. And in terms of the content, it is not bad, but it has several problems. The first is right here, we, one of the things we can see is that it's a bit messy. So design wise, we can see that, you know, there's kind of too much going on here. And for example, there's a link here to an online shop and it kind of drowns in everything else that's happening here. Another thing is that we have this, this multilingual kind of aspect. And if we look at the English version of this page, this is kind of a slightly older version of the design, but also it seems like some things just went wrong. So maybe as part of a redesign or something, we have some buttons that seem to be up here, stuck somewhere. And the layout here just isn't as nice. And we have a gap here. And there are throughout the site, there, there were many instances of this kind of thing where it just seemed like something wasn't quite right. And I think this is an example of something that can happen to a website quite easily, which is that at some point, originally, this was probably a very small, very simple, and quite a decent website. But over time, it got worse. Because on the one hand, well, design-wise, it's looking dated, right? So if you don't update the design, then eventually your site just looks old. But more than that, as more things get added, it's kind of a mix and match. And often it can just get worse over time, right? You add a button here, then you add a banner here, you add a new bit here, and it's not quite cohesive, and it just gets messier and messier. So we found many small issues on the site, and let me just show a couple of them. So one of them is that these ice creams here, these descriptions actually link to page, uh, a page. So they all link to the same page, no matter which one you click on, and they go through this nutrition facts page. And so first of all, th those links are not very discoverable. So you might or might not realize that you can click on this. And even if you do realize that you can click on them, you don't realize that they will take you to an ingredients page. So that's a usability problem. But also these ingredients, we notice this is actually an image. So each of these is an image. And this is another one of those things, you know, where it's just not ideal. Probably there's no good way to make a, an actual table in the content here. But if you have this as an image, you can't update it. It's also no good for, for SEO, right? Search engine can't read this. You have these images, very difficult to, to, to replace them. Like you have to remember where those image files are, then edit those image files, upload the new one if you need to change anything. So this is just an example of where it's just not ideal. Here we have a strange glitch on the page as well. Again, who knows you know, where that comes from or why that is. Here when we look at the points of sale, there's another oddity is that this map is also just an image, right? So, and it's strange because on some pages it's not, a, it's like an embed and, and here it's just an image. So there's many little things wrong with this design, but the worst of all was just how slow this was. So when you try to access this site, you could easily wait for like 10 seconds before anything would really show up on the screen. And that was one of the most critical issues that we needed to address. So with that quick tour of the original, let's look at what we made of this. So this is the new WordPress plus Thrive Architect version of this page. You'll see that we used basically the same structure. We used all of the same content. Content wise, we made very few changes, but we updated the design. And one of the things about design here is that the original design, it wasn't bad. It was a bit outdated, but it had one problem, which was it was over-designed. 
So this is an example of, you know, basically someone says, okay, we want kind of a playful, friendly look, but then taking it much too far. I've talked about this before, for example, in the context of choosing fonts, it's very easy to go too far and basically pick a font that tries much too hard to look futuristic or modern or retro. And it's much better, it creates a much cleaner, much more professional look if you choose something that conveys the thing you want to convey, but in a very subtle way. So here, what we did is we cleaned everything up. We gave it a lot more white space, like literal white space, right? Instead of everything having textures and patterns and colors in the background. And we still have some playfulness and we're still using a very colorful palette, but everything is just toned down and a bit more subtle. So it kind of, let's say, you know, the playfulness doesn't punch you in the face. It's just nice, but it doesn't get in the way of actually just using the site and reading the text. Another major change we made in terms of conversion focus is that we have in this title section, the, the first thing you see on the page, we're just much clearer about what this is about. So right away, we have a clear message about vegan ice cream. And that wasn't that clear. So the other page, like at a glance, you might not realize that that's what this is about. So another thing that I preach all the time is just have a big, clear heading at the top of the page that tells your visitor immediately what's going on. Another important thing is that we made the, this shop more discoverable. So we have the link here in the header and we have the link here, this button is given more prominence instead of it just being one of many buttons in this section. But then one of the most important things we did is we improved the speed. And let me show you if I reload this page right here, one of the things you'll see that here, it's readable right away. So even though it took a few seconds to load everything, you can see that in an instant, even before this background image loads, the page is already, it already works. So the text renders right away. I can read the text even if the image behind it isn't showing yet. So this is an important improvement in two ways. First of all, the entire loading process is about 10 times faster. And secondly, even before the loading process is finished, I can already use this website and I can already read the text. The clearest outcome of this speed improvement in terms of a business outcome is something we saw in analytics for this site is the bounce rate. The moment we switched over to WordPress and Thrive Architect, the speed went up dramatically and the bounce rate just dropped off a cliff. So we went from a huge bounce rate where the majority of visitors were basically abandoning this site right away to a very low bounce rate. That means people are actually sticking around. People are actually engaging with this website. They're not just giving up on it before it even stops loading. Another point that we improved that's also very important these days is the mobile responsiveness. This entire site now also loads quickly and works really well on a mobile device. Everything stays readable, everything adjusts properly. On the original, there were many problems with the mobile responsiveness. I mean, you could load it on a mobile phone, but it didn't look quite right. And various bits of content and even text were just missing. This just wasn't a very usable website on a mobile device. Now in building this website, on WordPress with Thrive Architect, there were several challenges that we didn't really expect in the beginning and that we had to kind of work around. And it was interesting to see, even though sometimes these solutions are not ideal, it was interesting to see what we could do. So originally I thought this would be a one page website, but as it turns out, we have multiple pages and we have this language switch. So this website is available in multiple languages. And we did a couple of things to enable this. The first of which is that we used the symbols feature. So let me go into the back end of this website. And I'll go into the Thrive dashboard right here. And here we have templates and symbols. And in the symbols, you'll see that I have a footer, three versions of the footer and three versions of the header, one for each language. And this is an important part of how we built this website. So first of all, it means that we can edit these footers and headers separately and it will update across all pages where they're being used and that makes it easier. But we also kind of use this as a hack to enable a language switch. So our products don't support WPML, which would be the, the default like multilingual plugin for WordPress. But what we did here is we simply have three buttons and they each link to a different version of the page. And so if I click on the English link, it sim simply takes me to a separate URL where the English version of this page is being loaded. And because we have the symbol, so this will load the English header symbol, and that will be the same across all the English pages and the same for French and German. And so the combination of using the symbol 
as header and footer and then using these buttons here as a kind of workaround language switch actually enabled us to have the same functionality here on this website as we had originally on the Wix website. Then for the inner pages, such as this ingredients page right here, we created a template. So this is a saved landing page template, which basically has the header and footer symbol and this title section with a title that we can just replace with whatever we want. And then everything in between, this is basically just empty. It's an empty page section where we can add whatever content we want. So this way, it's also relatively easy to create a new page, choose which language the header and footer should be in, and then fill in whatever content is needed. Also, we use the HTML table element for the ingredients. So this is actual content on the page now. And if you wanna update it, you can literally just update the text inside these tables. And then finally, if we go back to the home page for a moment, we have the map in here, which we used a tool called MapKit. And I'll link to that, MapKit IO. And as you can see, this is now a panable and zoomable map where you can click on these individual pins to get some extra information. And this is an embed that also works on mobile as well. The only downside is it takes a bit to load. It takes a few seconds to load as you saw just before, but it's, it's really good to have this as an interactive map. And MapKit is a service that you can use for free. They also have a premium tier, but it's quite a useful service. If you wanna have this kind of interactive map with something like points of sale, this is a really good tool to use. So those are some of the special features that we included here to make this site happen. And overall, like I said, even though you know the symbols feature or the language switch, all of these are they're a bit workaroundy the way we use them. But ultimately to create a small website with just a handful of pages, this actually worked really well. And in terms of the outcome, that is the thing that matters the most because we managed to update the design to a degree where it kind of goes above that level. There's a, there's a certain you know minimum of design where if you're underneath that, people come to your website and they're like, this looks amateurish. I don't know if this is trust, trustworthy. I don't know if I wanna stick around here. And we updated the design to be really professional and to probably also stand the test of time a little bit better. So a more subtle, more minimal design will probably age better than one with you know lots of stuff going on. And more importantly than that, we sped up this website by a huge degree. We added a few other conversion elements, like especially in the title section, but really this speed improvement is the big, big improvement here. And as we can see from this bounce rate increase, it really makes the difference between whether people actually stick around or not. So I hope you enjoyed this website makeover of the Green Fairy ice cream. And I hope that you can take some ideas from this. You can basically ask yourself, are there some things, some of these mistakes that I'm making on my own website, or are there some of these changes that I can apply to my own website to make my website better? And of course, everything you saw here is using WordPress and the Thrive Architect plugin. So there's no further plugins involved. All of this is purely Thrive Architect. And as always, if you have any questions or feedback about this, just leave a comment below.